Hey, this is not a spring chicken. This is our vlog from NAB in Las Vegas. Actually, NAB has not started quite yet. It starts tomorrow. That is the National Association of Broadcasters. But boy, I will tell you, okay, we've had a few press conferences. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow starts the show. But so far, we've attended multiple press conferences. The first day, which was yesterday, was Grass Valley. Now, one of the things Grass Valley is known for, how should we say, production, big, massive equipment. Actually, Old Cam understands it much more than I do. <laughs> but I will tell you, as far as food goes, you're going, what? Food? Okay, so here, here's the background on it. Because we've been covering a lot of trade shows for years and years and years. And one of the things always is you can tell how well a company is doing or is not doing based on how they, first of all, treat the media, how restrictive they are, and what they do. For example, if they have absolutely nothing to give away, for example, no pencils, no food, no anything, um, yeah, they're probably not doing that well. And the press all knows it, and it's really kind of obvious. But then if they serve you a fabulous meal, of course, and everybody thinks that you're doing better or if they're giving things away. Grass Valley, I will tell you, at the shows has always had an enormous booth because they deal with, well, let's just say a lot of, a lot to do with workflow and production for big equipment, or shall we just say for studios, major broadcasting. But as far as food goes, Kobe beef blue cheese sliders, yes, ahi skewers, <laughs> And you're going, what? Shrimp, these huge, actually, I don't even think they qualify as shrimp. I think they're more like prawns. Caramelized, is it caramelized pecans, pistachios, um, dried papaya. I mean, you get the picture. They know how to entertain and style. But what we're doing is we're, we're um, encapsulating what we've learned at all the press conferences. I'm not going to tell you everything right now. But the next one is Panasonic. Now, one of the things at this year's NAB show, what we were expecting to see is a lot on, you could say, 3. Well, actually, they have been talking about 3D, but we expected a lot on a second screen. Yes, because people can't just watch the TV on one screen. They want to have another screen with them to interact with what they're seeing on TV or to do email while they're watching TV. Because how many of you just sit there and watch TV and stare at it? You know, like you're in a movie theater? Okay, so you know you're doing multiple things at the same time. So that's one of the things we're expecting, as well as live streaming, which seems to be all over the show this year. Also, we're starting to see some things on 4K. In fact, at the Panasonic press conference, wait a minute, what was it that got? The, okay, one of the equipment, it got the oohs and the ahs, but when they brought up the 4K camera, yes, that got claps. Now you're going 4K, what is that? You've never heard of it. It's four times the resolution of high def which is, you know what, about 1080p? Well, this is like 4,000, whatever have you it is. Um, but 4K, that is coming up soon. Now they're just starting to get the equipment out. It's really exciting. Now, of course, on 4K, with high, high resolution, you remember, you know, going from HD to Blu-ray, um, 3D, I mean, for example, it's another reason to buy a new television, but the clarity, the color, everything is much more intense. It's almost like, as they say it, it's like it's immersive. You feel like you're there. In 3D, you feel like you're in the scene. The others, you feel like you're there. Hmm. But it's not. It, it almost reminds you of 3D in a way. But there's no glasses required on 4K. Although with 3D, now there's no glasses required on a lot of the 3D. So. We have more coming. And of course, the next press conference after that is Sony. Sony. And Sony were the two press conferences, or some of the two press conferences we were looking forward to seeing the most. And the NEX camera, okay, we had been waiting for it before because we were promised some before to play with at NAB. And of course, nobody seemed to be getting any. But you know what? When they brought it out on stage, yes. That was a camera that everybody had to come up and take a look at because we have been waiting for that. And we weren't just the only ones. What's so cool about the new NEX camera? <laughs> it does slow motion. You're going, what? Yes, slow-mo. Previously, the Phantom camera has been doing it. And those are the ones when you see when you're watching the Olympics and it's that time at the very end, that split second, or you see something going in slow motion, because basically what it does is it shoots really fast, a lot of frames per second. So that is 
really, really exciting. Now, I'm curious. We're supposed to get some tests. When is that actually coming out? I'm just, hmm. I'm hoping it's going to be really, really soon. I think that was probably, you know, as far as that goes, that was probably the most exciting thing at the Sunday press conference, I would say. Always, besides the desserts. Those were quite sweet, too, because... You know, one of the great things that's been on this year, which is really kind of unusual, is that the news conferences, actually they used to call them press conferences, now they're kind of news conferences. We went from building to building, oh, excuse me, casino or conference center to conference center. So fortunately they had shelves to go between. After that, of course, um, Avid technology, one of the big things now, storage, storage, storage. That's the thing you're going to hear again, storage. <laughs> because... Avid, you know them for, well, software, but what makes it all work, and you've been hearing about cloud computing and storage, being able to work remotely while your office is here, you work and you're able to network, everybody's able to access information, so that's the big news at, at Avid. Oh, of course, the open bar was quite nice too, as well as, oh, that plate of, oh, those are right, oh, the ahi tuna on the plantains. Mm -hmm. And the lobster quiches and all of that. That was quite sweet. From the past hors d'oeuvres. So we did get our fill though. But then the next one that happened, which is Harris. Now Harris, we have to thank you for it. Because Harris is always known for, we're talking big equipment. Big, 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 like studio, broadcast, networks, that type of thing. But one of the things they did is they totally simplified everything when it comes to broadcasting. Because basically... We are all just marketing arms. We are selling advertising. Yes, selling advertising into the production because that's what keeps everything moving. You know what? Live streaming, we've been talking about, we've been doing it, but that is one of the hot topics this season because one of the things that Harris is really close because like one of the companies, Sinclair, was out there, the Sinclair Broadcast Group, they have 74 stations in 46 different markets. You can imagine their reach. What their customers are asking for is they want live programming, live programming. So guess what? We are right there out on the edge, and we're going to bring it all to you. I know. Can you believe all this? Okay, and of course, the food there, I should say that was quite nice, too. The chocolate and strawberries, okay, you've seen that before. The bananas fosters, you might have seen that before. The boiled shrimp on cold ice, hmm, those were quite sweet. In the stadium sitting at Legacy Stadium, oh, yeah, we're at the Palazzo. It was quite nice. But anyway, Harris, they capsulated it the most because one of the things that they realized is to be close to the customer, you give the customer what you want. And at NAB, you know what? Everybody's learning. And this year, we've seen more changes here at NAB than we've seen at any other shows as far as... Actually, I would like to say, it seems like... Almost like they're awake. It's like they seem like they're getting closer and closer to the customer this year than at any other year that we've been here at NAB. And the NAB show opens tomorrow, so we're looking forward to bringing much more to you. But meanwhile, check us out on Twitter for Monty Bubbles, on Facebook for the Monty Bubbles, oh, on Monty Bubbles also, because, and also on our own networks, MontyBubbles.net and NBNewsVideoWeb.com, because we'll be having updates go there too. Because you know what, at NAB, you never know how it's going to affect you because what starts at the pro level comes down at the consumer level. And you're going to be up and have an idea as to what's to come in the future. So come follow us and join us.